Welcome to our new video. This is our Ubuntu 24.04 Noble Numbat installation, our daily driver. It's customized to some extent, especially when it comes to the software sources we use. In this video, we will show you how to achieve similar results if you believe Ubuntu is no longer Linux for human beings as it used to be. So stay tuned. First things first, suppose you've already installed Ubuntu 24.04 on your machine. We have described the installation process in one of our previous videos. However, in short, if you are a new Linux user, do not forget to choose your language and keyboard layout, then proceed with the interactive installation, followed by the extended selection option. Make sure to install third-party software for graphics, Wi-Fi hardware and media formats. The rest is mostly self-explanatory. Once you're there, you'll be greeted by Ubuntu's welcome app. You don't need to enable the Ubuntu Pro service. You can choose to share your system data with the Ubuntu team if you wish, but it's not necessary. And that's basically it for the start. This first step is optional. You can do it if you dual boot Ubuntu with Windows. In that case, when you log into Windows, it might mess up your time zone. While you're in Ubuntu, open your terminal app and type in a simple command we'll leave in the video description. Sometimes Ubuntu server in your country might go down, leaving you without updates and patches for a while. To play it safe, you can start Ubuntu software and updates app and switch your system to the main server. While you are there, check if your system requires any additional drivers. When you try to close the software and updates app, it will ask you to reload the information about available software. So refresh the software cache. Of course, this step is also optional. Now it's time to update the system because it's always recommended to have the latest security updates and patches. The next step involves adding additional software sources. Our experience with Ubuntu Snap platform hasn't been the best. So this is what we usually do after installing Ubuntu 24.04. First, refresh the Snap platform via the command line, since the Snap store sometimes needs to update itself and may display an error. Type in the command we'll leave in the video description. To add software from more sources, besides Ubuntu's repositories and the Snap platform, you need to install an app called GDebi. The command for its installation is also in the description. You'll see its purpose later in the video. If you prefer not to use the command line, you can install an old-school graphical program for installing software called Synaptic Package Manager. Use a simple terminal command to install it. Open Synaptic and click to reload the package information. Search for the GNOME software app, the official software store for the GNOME project. We usually install it because it works better for us than Ubuntu's Snap Store. Right-click it, mark it for installation and hit the Apply button. Now you have the GNOME software app installed, but don't start it yet. First, add the Flatpak platform to the system. It provides numerous, regularly updated, sandboxed Linux apps, which are newer than those in the Ubuntu repositories. To add Flatpak support in Ubuntu 24.04, copy three simple commands into the command line from Flatpak's official website. Then restart your system. Now, here's the GNOME software app in its full glory. To ensure users have multiple sources to choose apps from, you can search for an app in software. For instance, Brave Browser. Users can install it from Flatpak's Flathub App Store or from Ubuntu's Snap Store.
Another thing you can add to your Ubuntu 24.04 build is proprietary fonts. In case you exchange documents with people using proprietary operating system and fonts. Instruct your package manager to install the fonts. The command is in the video description. Now you can enable the popular fonts in the LibreOffice Writer app. A thing that we find annoying in Ubuntu is that new windows open in the upper left hand corner of the screen by default. To correct this and make your new windows open in the center of the screen, install an application called Tweaks. It's in the GNOME software store. Once installed, start Tweaks. Go to the Windows tab and slide the option Center New Windows. It works right away. Speaking of customization, Ubuntu comes in light mode by default. If you prefer dark mode, switch it in the Settings app under the Appearance tab. Ubuntu 24.04 offers several nice wallpapers pre-installed, so you can choose one if you like. Under the Ubuntu Desktop tab, you have numerous customization options, including desktop icons and Ubuntu's trademark dock on the left side of the screen. Speaking of the dock, you can unpin apps to remove them and add apps by finding them in the full screen app launcher and choosing Pin to Dash. You can also manually reorder apps on the dock. Another useful thing you can do is install the weather app for a regular weather forecast in your top bar. The app is in GNOME software with three options available including one from the official Ubuntu repositories. After installation, enter your location to get regular weather updates. Now let's add some apps from the different sources we enabled. In software, you can find Chromium, a free and open source web browser. We'll take the one from Flathub. After installing the browser, you can add it to the dock too. If you are a new user, now it's time to see the purpose of GDB, which we installed earlier. Certain applications can be installed outside the repositories, like in Windows when you download an app from the Internet. We downloaded the XNView MP installation file, a capable image viewer. Since Ubuntu is a Debian-based operating system, download the .deb file. Once downloaded, right-click the file, open it with GDB and assign the program to always be used for this file type. GDB will also install any needed dependencies. After installation, find the application in the full screen app launcher and run it. You can pin it to the dash too. So, this is the basic setup we usually do with Ubuntu 24.04. Of course, you can go further by installing additional desktop themes and icon packs, but that might be the subject of another video. Here we wanted to show you some basic steps to make Ubuntu more user-friendly and avoid issues with Ubuntu's default software sources. If you found this video useful, please share it, give us a like, leave a comment down below and subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching and see you next time.